While the entire crypto market has been melting down silently behind the scenes, a brand new blockchain and cryptocurrency has launched that has quintupled in value in just seven days. That's a 5x return in a week. That's because this project is a one of a kind that's doing something else that pretty much nobody else is and opens up the floodgates for an insane number of use cases for crypto. And basically nobody's talking about this. At least I'm not seeing any of the major YouTube channels talk about it yet. So in this video, I'm going to explain explain exactly what it is, how it works, what this means for crypto, and how you can get involved. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below and subscribe. And if you want to see how to get involved inside the booming blockchain industry, I can show you how to increase your income by becoming a blockchain developer step by step from start to finish over at dappydiversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's jump into this. Let's talk about this new blockchain that just launched that 5X in a week that basically nobody's talking about. Now, a couple quick things to get out of the way before I talk about this is obviously nothing in this video is designed to be financial advice. I'm not trying, telling you to buy, sell, or hold any cryptocurrency based on this information, and this is not a sponsored video. I've just been watching this project for quite some time and want you all to know about it, okay? Because I actually made a YouTube video about this last year um, and I told you to keep your eye on it so because I believed it would be a big deal and that's turning out to be true. So what is it? Well, it is, drum roll please, a story protocol, all right? So, and it's brand new cryptocurrency, the IP token, all right? So what is it? Well, story protocol is a new layer one blockchain specifically built for tokenizing intellectual property. All right, so let me break that down. It's a new layer one so it's a new blockchain in and of itself, just like Ethereum, just like Solana, et cetera, et cetera. And it's purpose built for intellectual property. Now, let me tell you why these things are huge. So let's start off with intellectual property. Uh, well, IP for short is a $60 trillion asset class. All right. To put that in perspective, the size of the entire crypto market cap is only about $3 trillion at the time of recording this video. So it's 20 times the size of all the cryptocurrencies in existence. All right. So other points of reference, like the US stock market is roughly $60 trillion in market cap. And also US residential real estate is roughly $60 trillion uh, in market cap. So all the IP is worth about as much as all the US stocks and worth about all, about as much as all the US real estate. So it's a massive, massive untapped market. Uh, and if we can get even a fraction of that value and move it onto the blockchain, that is a huge deal. Okay. So really quickly, let's clarify what intellectual property is in case you're not familiar or just a little fuzzy on what that even means. Well, basically, if somebody creates something the intellectual property is the ownership rights over that thing that they create. So if you write a screenplay that gets turned into a movie, that screenplay is intellectual property. If you write uh, song lyrics that are you know recorded and distributed as recorded music, those song lyrics are intellectual property, et cetera, et cetera. You can sort of draw the parallels for other art forms and things where we use IP. So why would you put this on a blockchain? Well, in short, just like everything else, better, faster, cheaper. Okay, let's talk about better. You can do more with it. So it's uh, transparent. So basically, if you tokenize intellectual property and put it on the blockchain, you have transparent ownership that you can prove that you actually own the IP itself. You can tokenize it so that other people can invest in it. All right. It's programmable because it's powered by smart contracts. So you could lend it. Uh, you could borrow it. You could do things like automate licensing payments for royalties. So if you own the IP for something, and you're going to get paid royalties for it, the blockchain can basically uh, just facilitate that process for you. It could do things like automate fraud detection for things like AI, because that's a huge problem nowadays. Basically, AI is just copying other people's creative works and then spitting out you know, its own versions of that. And basically, we can automate protections against that with uh, IP. Not to mention other things like basically global decentralized access to intellectual property ownership, and it really fixes the problem of current intellectual property where it's not very liquid. All right. If you want to try to buy the rights for something, it's pretty hard to do. There's a lot of hoops to jump through, but you could automate this entire process by just selling it to somebody directly on chain or conversely, you just buying it directly on a blockchain. All right. So I'll talk about better, faster, cheaper. That's the better. Let's talk about faster and cheaper. 
Basically, you know, you can prove ownership. Uh, it's a lot easier to do on blockchain. It's pretty cumbersome with IP. You've got a lot of paperwork and red tape involved. Uh, getting paid for your intellectual property and the usage of it could take a long time. If you've ever had to wait for a royalty check, you know what I'm talking about. And finally, having to go to war over legal battles and IP rights can be costly and time consuming. And if you could reduce any of that with blockchain, that's going to be a huge win. Now, not to mention the fact that another huge thing about intellectual property is it fits into this big real world assets movement that's happening in the crypto ecosystem. And what's really cool about, you know, Story Protocol is they're fitting into this picture in a way that a lot of people aren't. So a lot of people, when they think of real world assets, again, that's moving anything that you could own in the real world and bring it on chain. A lot of people are thinking stocks, bonds, you know, uh, real estate, things like that, where you could tokenize these items. Well, they're focusing on IP. That really expands the pie for what's possible with real world assets. And again, they're a unique player for doing this. All right, so let's look at some of the specifics of Story Protocol itself and also the IP token, okay? So let's start with the blockchain specifics because again, uh, the Story Network, all right, is the actual blockchain. It's a new layer one blockchain, just like Ethereum or Solana, all right? Uh, it uses the IP token in that ecosystem, specifically pay the gas fees and also some other things, which I'll talk about here in a minute. Um, the layer one blockchain is EVM compatible. So they basically that means it has its own version of the Ethereum virtual machine, uh, which basically means any app that you can write for Ethereum, you could put on story protocol, which is huge because that means this blockchain could get colonized very quickly. All right. Because people who have apps on other chains could just port them over. But uh, we also want to see new applications purpose built for intellectual property use cases. And because it's EVM compatible, that means that the ecosystem can still grow faster because there's a lot of developers who already know how to build for Ethereum based technologies and they can want to learn something new and they can, you know, build new apps that are purpose built for story very quickly. They can tap into those pools of existing developers. You know, if you're a developer watching this video and you know how to build for Ethereum, you can build for this as well. So it does support smart contracts with the Solidity programming language because it's EVM compatible. Uh, but it also has um, optimized data structures, which are unique to this blockchain, uh, which are basically pre-compiled primitives for efficient IP graph traversal, all right? It's because you might think like, okay, do we really need a new blockchain for intellectual property? Like, can't we just tokenize this on another general purpose blockchain like Ethereum or something like that? Well, this is where that big benefit comes from. Basically, you have these pre-compiled primitives that are specifically built for IP graph traversal. On top of that, you got fast finality, so fast, cheap transactions. Uh, it uses something called the proof of creativity protocol. All right. Basically, creators can register their IP as an IP asset with the protocol. All right. Those IP assets are actually tied to real world IP off chain. And this is sort of the bridge that connects those two things together because, you know, you might just say like, okay, I can create an NFT and that's supposed to represent some intellectual property. But at the end of the day, if you have a real world asset, that real world asset has to be registered somewhere and it has to be connected to the blockchain to where if you actually own that thing offline, then it's connected to the blockchain ownership side of things. And that's how this works. It's NFT based. So basically this could be an existing NFT or it could be a new NFT specifically minted to represent some off-chain IP like a real world asset. All right, so that's a quick overview of the story blockchain in and of itself. Let's talk about the story token. So it's the IP token, that's the ticker. All right, intellectual property. It's nice and short, I like it. Um, so again, this is the token that launched at a dollar, basically it went to over $5, almost $6, almost 6x in a week. All right. It's kind of cooled off with some upward trend here, despite the entire crypto market kind of tanking, uh, throughout that exact same time, which is a pretty good sign for this. All right. Again, not financial advice, but it's, it's a strong start. All right. So, uh, what's the token for? What can you do with it? Why do they have it? You know, why do they launch a new token for this blockchain? Well, um, you know, you can use it to pay the gas fees, all right, on the network. So if you're going to use Story Protocol, you have to ask my IP token to do this. Uh, it's a it's a proof of stake network. So basically, you can stake your tokens to earn some passive income. Uh, and then finally, also, it's a governance token. So you can govern aspects of the ecosystem uh, by holding Story uh, or IP tokens as well. So if you want to try Story Protocol uh, or Story Network, how can you get started today? We can go to story.foundation, all right? And it'll just show you how to get connected. You have to have a wallet to get started. Uh, it, probably whatever wallet you have now is going to work. Uh, if you have a MetaMask wallet or a Coinbase wallet, um, 
then that should get you started, okay? Of course, you have to fund the wallet because you need uh, IP tokens in order to pay the gas fees. So you can fund your account uh, by, you know, you could swap it on a decentralized exchange if you have some funds on chain and then bridge that over to the story uh, network. You could buy it on a centralized exchange and withdraw it, you know, to your wallet. Uh, but that's going to help you pay the gas fees. Then finally, of course, you're going to need to connect the story network in your wallet and then start using some applications on the uh, actual mainnet, okay? So you can look at the ecosystem here for different apps that you can check out, like IP World. You can look at Unleash. Uh, they got some meme coin projects on here. Uh, but yeah, this would be a great starting point to kind of see what applications are actually live that you can start messing around with today. Now, finally, if you're a developer and you want to start building on Story Protocol, how can you do that? Because anytime a new chain like this launches, it needs new apps. It needs new developers to essentially create those applications or move existing applications through the blockchain. And there can be a huge upside potential for doing that, whether it's just for your portfolio project or if you're trying to actually create a real world application yourself. So you can click on the uh, story.foundation forward slash build link, all right? And it's going to show you uh, an overview of how to get started. So basically, uh, again, it, it, this is an EVM compatible chain. So if you can create write solidity contracts for Ethereum and other EVM compatible chains, you're going to be right at home on this protocol. But you can learn more about... Um, you know, the exact primitives for intellectual property, how they do it uniquely through this and how to use those specific smart contracts and follow the step-by-step -step documentation. They've got uh, some written tutorials here. All right. They've also got their discord where you can reach out to them uh, if you get stuck while you're going through that process. All right. So that's an overview of story protocol. All right. And the story network, the new blockchain that just launched and the IP token again, which, you know, rose in value significantly over the last week or so uh, while the rest of the crypto market was in the tank. All right. So this is a project, again, that I talked about first a little over a year ago on this channel, I think has a ton of potential because they're, they're really tackling a problem uh, in a way that a lot of other people aren't. I'm really excited for the potential of intellectual property in this space. Again, real world assets. I've always said that I think NFTs are cool and they go way beyond just digital pictures on a blockchain. And this is a really good use case for that. So let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Have you been watching this project? Is this new to you? Are you excited about this? Do you think it's going to go nowhere? I want to hear from you. And whenever you're finished leaving your comment, make sure you smash that like button down below and subscribe. And if you want to see how to take advantage of this rapidly growing blockchain industry, then how can you get started today? Well, the absolute best way to do that is to become a blockchain developer. So you can go to my YouTube homepage. You can see my free courses there. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. And if you like those videos and you want to take the next step, or hey, maybe you want to take a master shortcut entirely, I can show you how to become a blockchain master step-by-step step from start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash. I show you how to increase your income step-by-step. Step. You really have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real-world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. And until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.